Hello, 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 it's Melanie Foote Davis. I'm stopping by today just to talk to you about celebrations. Let me ask you something. Do you typically wait until you've reached your goal or achievement before you celebrate, or do you celebrate along the way? Just a thought, because I know that many of us, and sometimes I find myself doing it myself, we wait until we have a completion of our project or we've reached the finish line of whatever our goal is before we celebrate. And so I just wanted to talk to you about that for a moment. I'm going to read you a quick quote from Oprah, and it says, the more you praise and celebrate your life, the more there is a light to celebrate. Just take that in for a minute. The more you praise and celebrate your life, the more of light there is in life to celebrate. So that to me is saying, let's just focus on the wins. Let's just focus on the fact that we have life and the little things. And then we're going to actually invite more in to celebrate. So I'm going to read you something quickly that comes from this amazing book called Boom, Radical Love, Your Path to Freedom and Bliss. And this is the first chapter about celebrating the beauty of you. And it says, have you ever noticed how much you celebrate and encourage babies? As a child developing your motor skills, you champion her along the way and you encourage her first everything. The first time she rolls over, the first time she sits up alone, her first step, her first word, and her first day of school. I remember my daughter's first word. She said, can you guess what that is? She said, hat. Hat. Go figure, right? You would have thought I had won the lottery. I called my mother into the room to hear it. I looked at Trinity, that's my daughter, and I said, baby, say hat. And she said, hat? <laughs> we nearly jumped through the roof. And I began to make phone calls to share the good news. Are you feeling me? Do you do that with the little people, the little human beings in your life? Whenever they have a win, no matter what it is, when they roll over, when they sit up for the first time, right? When they take their first step, we celebrate them. We don't say, oh, um, they're taking the first step. We actually encourage them. We say, come on, baby. Come on. Keep going. You can do it. And we're like, yay, look at that. When they fall, we don't look at them and say, see, you shouldn't have walked. You should just let me continue to carry you. Falling down means they failed. You failed at walking. We don't do that, do we? No, we encourage every step along the way. And we champion them. So why don't we stop celebrating ourselves as adults? Why can't we encourage ourselves and encourage our peers for every step along the way? Just think about that. Like, did you notice I didn't wait until my daughter was speaking complete sentences before I acknowledged her. I didn't wait until she was speaking in paragraphs before I shared the news with others. We celebrated with one word, one word, hat. So what one thing are you going to celebrate today? What's that one thing? It doesn't have to be big. It could just be one thing where there's one step that you took towards achieving a goal. And even if it's reflecting on one thing that you accomplished that you never fully acknowledged yourself on, what is that one thing? One thing that you can celebrate today. Think about that and share it with me. I just wanted to just stop in and give you a simple radical love note in terms of celebrating you, celebrating your wins. And guess what? Don't forget to celebrate others on their journey as well. Invite the joy in. Invite the celebration in. Celebrate yourself and celebrate others.
have a good day.